Hi everyone, this is Marcus, financial planner, tax enrolled agent, and author of the Retirement and Tax Playbooks. And I wanted to give you the latest updates on the next stimulus package and where the government stands on when to send out another stimulus check and whether they are going to extend unemployment benefits. But before we begin, please make sure to click the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. And if you're new to the channel, we talk about things like personal finance, investing, and building personal wealth. All right, so Congress is still debating the details of the new stimulus package to help Americans survive amid an ongoing recession created by the coronavirus pandemic. So both sides of the aisle, they do agree that a final bill will include a second stimulus payment for, of course, qualified Americans, but the House and the Senate proposals, they disagree on some terms. So Treasury Secretary Mnuchin, he basically said that Democrats were insisting on more than $1 trillion for state and local governments. He said, it's an allocation of funds from the administration that is not going to happen. Uh, so the two sides of the negotiation table, they also can't find common ground on the enhanced unemployment benefits. So Mnuchin said, I think on the concept, we absolutely agree on enhanced unemployment. We want to fix the issue where in some cases people are overpaid and we want to make sure there's the right incentives. Republicans proposed a one week extension to the extra $600 that the jobless Americans have been receiving since March to give them room to negotiate, as well as proposing three or four different other offers, including decreasing payments to $200 per week until the unemployment system can accommodate a 70% wage replacement payment. Whew. Anyway, Democrats, however, are holding firm and wanting to continue those enhanced unemployment benefits with no change in that amount. Speaker of the House, uh, Nancy Pelosi, she said yesterday, we have been for the $600 payment. They have a $200 proposal, which does not meet the needs of America's working families. Now, Democrats passed a plan in June that would have extended the unemployment benefits to laid off workers all the way through January. But Mnuchin said the Trump administration and Republicans delayed coming up with a plan for so long because they were unsure if pumping so much money into the economy was actually encouraging people to get back to work. White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, uh, he said last week that the president didn't support continuing the expanded $600 per week federal benefit, which was enacted in March and expired just a few days ago in, in July because it paid people to stay home. And in some cases, Americans were earning more money under the expanded federal benefit than they were at their previous previous jobs. Now, there is some dispute to this claim because economists at Yale University, they found no evidence that that $600 weekly jobless benefit that it even reduced employment. In regards to the stimulus check, the timeline on when eligible people will receive that second check of up to $1,200, it's going to depend on when Washington lawmakers, when they can agree on the concepts of the economic rescue package. Now, President Trump, he is pushing for the direct payments to go out as soon as a deal is reached, possibly as soon as a week after that legislation is signed. An additional problem is that the Senate GOP is fractured on this bill, and you have Senate Leader Mitch McConnell, who introduced the HEALS Act, but many in the Republican Party see another massive stimulus bill as costly and unnecessary. There are a lot or several prominent Republicans who shared their displeasure with the initial proposal proposal, including Ted Cruz, you know, the senator out in Texas. He says that it's a mistake. I think that we should be focusing on reopening the economy, not simply shoveling trillions of dollars out of Washington. I think the bill is a wrong approach. Hey, Ted, you know, there's a global pandemic going on, right? Anyway, and Mnuchin added that we've authorized over $3 trillion in the U.S. economy, and this has never been done in the history of time. He says we put about half of that into the economy and we wanted to wait and see how that money was going to work. And so there's obviously a need to support workers, support the economy, and people through no fault of their own are shut down because of this terrible disease. On the other hand, we have to be careful about not piling on enormous amounts of debt for future generations. So over the weekend, the leaders met and reported progress, but still no deal. On Saturday, Senator Schumer, he told CNN that they had their longest meeting around three hours. 
and it was more productive than the other meetings. But the sides are still far apart, but they said that they had a serious discussion. So if a decision isn't reached by Friday, which is August 7th, uh, that's the sentence last day before they take their scheduled month long recess, AKA vacation, AKA one, two, three, Cancun, one, two, three, Cancun. So it's expected that McConnell and Pelosi, that they could delay their respective August recesses until the bill is passed. If you remember back in March, McConnell, he delayed the Senate's scheduled recess to complete work on the CARES Act. And I would expect the same for these negotiations. Hopefully our elected officials can get something passed this week. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and make sure that you hit the like button and the subscribe button for more videos. Until next time.